In this video, we'll be discussing the difference between strength and concentration. No, not that kind of strength and concentration. Remember, we're talking about acids and bases here. So concentration, that measures how much. And in this class, we've always measured how much, or concentration, using units um, of moles for every one liter. Remember, that's molarity. Let's contrast that with strength. Strength is the measure or degree to which an acid or base dissociates or ionizes. So how much does that acid or base split up? And you know that those are measured using equilibrium constants, um, KEQ. Or specifically, if we're talking about an acid or a base, we call it KA or KB. So I understand that it, um, if we're talking about a solution just using everyday vernacular, we might use um, concentration as strength as synonyms, but that's not the case here. In chemistry, we make a clear distinction between concentration and strength. So take a few moments to think about uh, both of these definitions carefully. Okay, strength is going to be how much an acid breaks up. So there's an equilibrium here. We have some amount of this, and we have some amount of these. The extent to which it breaks up, that's the strength. How much of it uh, we actually have, that would be concentration. Um, so we, we could use this formula here. Um, the percent dissociation, or the percent of this acid that breaks up, would be the amount that's dissociated, that's here, divided by the initial concentration of this, times 100. Now, we're not going to use this formula too much. Um, I just wanted to show this to you. The strength of weak acids and weak bases can be expressed with an equilibrium constant, Ka or Kb, similar to Keq, but for acids and bases. So once again, if we have a reaction where an acid is going to be donating a proton to water, these two would be the products, and these would be the reactants. And we could set up an equilibrium expression for this reaction. The concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. We can do the same thing for a base. If we multiply Ka times Kb, we always get Kw, and we've already learned that Kw is always equal to 10 to the minus 14th. So don't allow um, this stuff to confuse you here. This is stuff we've already done several times already. The only difference is, instead of this being called KEQ, it's just called KA because we're dealing with an acid. So strong acids dissociate completely. Now there are six strong acids which you'll want to memorize. Hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid, hydroiodic acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, and perchloric acid. It should be noted that sulfuric acid is only considered a strong acid for the first proton that it releases. You see here that sulfuric acid has the potential to release two protons. So these are the six strong acids. All other acids are weak acids. There's also strong bases. Strong bases are typically alkali metal hydroxides. You know what the alkali metals are. Those are metals from group one on the periodic table. So for example, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, and other alkali metal hydroxides from the first group on the periodic table. So this is just a few of the strong bases. So here's a couple quick review questions um, that will help you test your st understanding of the differences between strength and concentration. Is it possible for an acidic solution to be dilute but strong? Sure, it's possible. And here's an example. Let's say we have a 0.0001 molar solution of hydrochloric acid. 
Well, you know that point zero 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 one molar is pretty dilute. But you also know that hydrochloric acid is considered a strong acid. So this solution here would be considered dilute but strong. Conversely, is it possible for an acidic solution to be concentrated but weak? Yes, that's also possible. Um, consider this. Consider a 12 molar solution of acetic acid. Remember, acetic acid is vinegar, and vinegar is a weak acid. But a 12 molar solution, that's really concentrated. That's very concentrated. But it's concentrated with an acid um, that's considered a weak acid. So before going on, make sure you understand the difference between strength and concentration.